badges are super hard to get this year. It's a long grind and a grind you don't want to waste your time on. So if you want your, to get your badges grinded, go ahead and hit up Goat Plugged on Instagram. The link is in the description. And make sure you tell them that Double H sent you. Now let's get straight into the video. So you clicked on today's video because you're trying to figure out how to win the new event, Boot Camp. Gives out unlimited boosts, new clothes, arm sleeves, VC. You want it all. You want all these rewards. Well, I won this event already twice. And we haven't even seen East or West servers yet. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I won this event. And exactly how you can win this event and get your unlimited boost today. All you have to do is watch this video. Now let's get straight in. What is good YouTube? It's your boy Henry aka Double HD. Yeah. And I am back at it with yet another bang. Now, before we get into this, okay? Before we get into this video, I need you to drop a like on this video right now. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're doing. Subscribe to the channel. 10K subs on the way. And a giveaway at 10K subs. Um, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you see every time I'm live streaming. And every time I post a new banger. But anyways... Let's get straight into this video, man. So, first thing I want to do is explain what Boot Camp is. So, Boot Camp is a new event in NBA 2K20, and it basically is a 3v3 matchmaking event. And you have to be on a 75 overall or lower. Now, all my teammates and me played on all 75 overalls. Uh, we played on 75s in Japan servers and Europe servers, and we never saw a 76 or higher. People are saying you can play on a 99, but I've never seen that, so I don't think that's true, okay? If it is true, then my bad, but I won the event on a 75, and so did my teammates, so I think you'll be fine. So anyways, you have to be on a 75 or lower, um, 3v3 matchmaking, and basically if you are ranked 11 through 50, you get to choose one option between an arm sleeve, um, the, which is you can only pick right or left so left arm sleeve or right arm sleeve 20 kvc or 20 boots Okay, and then if you get top 10 you can pick two items of the four which is unlimited boost 50 kvc uh, The boot camp jacket or a left arm sleeve So those are the rewards for it and it's also a double rep and to be honest, when it comes to XP for this, uh, to get the most XP is teammate grade and stats. And I was getting about 11k a game for um, boot camp. And you don't have to be in a squad for this event. You can actually go in by yourself. Um, but yeah, and I played Japan servers and I got top 50, got my right arm sleeve. And I played EU servers and I got top 10, got my unlimited boost in my jacket. So I really know what I'm doing when it comes to this event, okay, this new event. So that's basically the generalization of what the event is and really how to play it, okay? Now, you're going to play a lot of comp. I did run into a lot of comp. I beat Nadex. I beat Vamu. I beat some Eyeball members, some XI No members, uh, a lot of, you know, comp players, okay? I beat some Delayers even, you know? And so you're definitely not going to run into a lot of bums. You'll run into bums for sure on East and West. But um, basically, you just want to end the game as fast as possible while also maintaining um, a good teammate grade and a good, uh, you know, stats. So that would be points, rebounds, assists, whatever. Now, you're probably thinking, what, what kind of lineup should I run for this, right? I was running a playmaking shot creator, which is like a play sharp build uh, at the one, and then a lockdown at the two, and a glass lock at the three that could not shoot. Now, honestly, any lineup that has you want to have a lineup that has some sort of defense in it okay so if you're whoever's running center it has to be a build that can rebound the ball now he can be a glass lock that can shoot too but as long as he can rebound and set screens that's all that matters now whoever's running the two you could run two shooters you can run um a dribbling shooter and a lock you know whatever but if you do have i wouldn't run a, a sh pure sharp at the one and then a lock at the two like if you're gonna have a lockdown have a play sharp with you okay so either run two shooters in the glass or run a play sharp a lock of the glass that would be my recommendation for lineups to run now like i said i ran a play sharp a lock in the glass now anyways the people that get the most rep and get the most xp for this event are centers and then the number two spot would be the guy that's doing most of the work so whoever's scoring the most um 
whoever has the ball in their hands the most is probably getting the next best rep. The guy who's getting the least XP is the guys who sit in corner. The guys who do not putting as much stats as, uh, as everybody else on the court, obviously. So if you really want to get top 10, you're probably going to have to be a glass cleaner or you're going to be at the, the point guard, okay? Now, you can get top 50 if you're sitting corner, okay? That's easy. Top 50 really isn't that hard, okay? So, let's go over that again. You want to end the games as fast as possible while also maintaining a teammate grade and stats. So, that's basically the main keys to winning this event. It's a four-hour event, okay? So, I'm not going to lie. Me and my teammates went crazy. Um, we played a lot of comp. You know, we, we really, this event is not that hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I stream this event as well. So once again, turn on post notifications so you see the streams. And yeah, basically what we're doing is just setting screens. You know, if the, if the role was open, the role was open. If I was open, I was open, right? My my lock could shoot. I had Hall of Fame Dimer. Um, we had the lock guard ball. We really didn't run into, I think we lost one game out of probably like 40 games we lost once and we still i still got like 7k a rep for that game like i said i got about 11k a game uh, which should be enough to get top 10 for sure if you get 11k a game and you play throughout the entire four hours that should definitely be enough for top 10 but anyways as you can see right here i actually ended up getting my rewards and i selected the jacket and the unlimited boost now the unlimited boost they uh, go throughout all of your players, okay? They go throughout all your players. So you can get unlimited boosts on, across all your players. Um, the, obviously, the jacket and the uh, arm sleeve go the clothes transfers to all your players. And this is actually how you change your icon because you get an icon for the event as well. So you're going to go to options, and then you're going to go over here. And then, as you can see, you can change your icon right there. So those are all the tips I have for you guys today. I actually won this event and went crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, this was definitely um, a W event in my opinion. Definitely my one of my favorite events out right now. But if this video helped you guys out at all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on post notifications. And comment down below what events you have won this year. Let me know, man. I'm just trying to help you guys out with these events. And I'm going to bring you guys more streams and more banger videos, man, on the way. But anyways, it's been your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double HDF, and I'm out here, man. Peace. I'm feeling your energy, and shorty, man, she really into me. I got lots of enemies, and they want to act like they friends with me. I came up from bummy tees, now catch me just rocking Javonti.